but if you don't have a scanner and you want to know why your check engine light is on this is your scanner right here you can you can read your own codes you you can ask your car hey what's wrong with you are you not feeling good today and your car will tell you what's wrong fucking Let me see the scanner here. So you don't have you don't have a scanner, right? You have a Dodge truck, right? So you can do this with a lot of Dodges. And I did it with my PT Cruiser. It's like a little secret. It's not really a secret, but uh, it's like an Easter egg. <laughs> so if you don't have a code reader, but your check engine lights on, we just deleted it. Actually, he put a new EGR valve on, so I deleted the EGR code. But if you don't have a scanner and you want to know why your check engine light is on, this is your scanner right here. You can you can read your own codes. You you can ask your car, "Hey, what's wrong with you? Are you not feeling good today?" And your car will tell you what's wrong. If I can find the ignition here. So you put the key in, turn it on, off, on, off, on. Okay, maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. I'll try that again. Give me a second here. Most Dodge vehicles you can do this. On, off, on, off, on. Done. See how it says done over here? Yeah. And dot, 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 that means there's no codes. There's no codes because we deleted it already. Oh, that's pretty cool. I never knew that. Let's try the old one, two, three trick. One, two, three. P zero seven hundred. I missed the first one. I'll do it again. One, two, three. 1684 but if you need to if you need to read codes or if you want to know it, like what's going on you don't have a mechanic you don't have a scanner and maybe who knows maybe you're stranded just turn the key on off on off on on three times I think I did it too fast, but it says done. If you don't have any, or that's because there's no codes here. But if you do have codes, it'll read, it'll say P0405 there, or which, that's the EVAP code, but it'll tell you right on your screen what your code is. And the engine light's flashing over there. I think that's telling you that you're reading your engine codes, I think. But, yeah, it's not really showing us anything because we deleted it and it's got a new EGR. I just cleared it with the scanner. But if you don't have a scanner, that's a pretty handy way you can do it yourself at home. Yeah, tips and tricks for Dodge Dicks. Uh oh. No worky? Take it out and flip it over. Is that the signal? Oh, there you go. Uh, I guess I'll turn my lights on. <laughs> that might help, eh? Nineteen ninety-six and newer vehicles are equipped with uh, onboard diagnostics. So, um, if your check engine light is on, or ABS light, or what have you traction light chances are if you don't know what the problem is uh, your vehicle knows what the problem is and with the Chrysler and Dodge I'm not sure what year they started it with uh, the fact that you can turn you can do this you can turn the key on three times within three seconds or something like that so pretty quickly one two three turn the key on and it'll tell you on the dash the problem code
we're gonna do it on a Dodge Dakota today. We're gonna, uh, let's say we don't know what the problem is, but there's light on. Instead of uh, taking it to a garage or uh, whoever can scan your vehicle and tell you what the problem is or diagnose it, we're gonna get the vehicle to diagnose itself and tell us more or less what the problem is. Okay, I'm in a 2000 Dodge Dakota. Uh, it's a 4.7 liter four door model, four by four. And uh, it has some, when I start the vehicle, it has some lights on, including the brake light, ABS light, and engine, check engine light. And my door is ajar, apparently. There, okay. So, the oil pressure is good, and the truck runs and drives good. So here's a little secret if with the with a Dodge Chrysler Mopar or some uh, I don't I'm not sure if Jeep and Jeep and Chrysler Mopar are the same or not but anyway here's something you can do if you don't have a scanner or a code reader to find out why these lights are on so what you do is you stick your key in and you turn your key on and then off, on, off, on, and there's your error code there, P0442, P0445, and apparently that's it. So we have three lights and two codes. So... <clears throat> Uh, one of the codes is going to be, I think, is going to be for a speed sensor because when the brake and ABS light both come on at the same time, it's, it's usually a speed sensor. So w one, uh, one problem can cause those two lights to come on. And I'm going to go ahead and Google the, uh, the error codes and the vehicle itself, specific to the vehicle. So... I'm going to Google, uh, let's say, 2000 Dodge Dakota P045, whatever, you know. And what I'm going to find is that the other code is for an EVAP, EVAP leak or EVAP code, air code. So I think what it, this truck's going to need a speed sensor and it's got an EVAP leak. So that's just a way to check your, uh, to check your error codes if you don't have a scanner so with this uh, with these Chryslers it'll it'll tell you the error code and with the error code you can um, you can run the error code and the error code will tell you more or less what needs to be replaced or what the possibilities are but it's pretty awesome that you can do, you can diagnose the vehicle yourself um, if you're trying to save a dollar or you just want an idea of what it might cost you or what have you, this is one way of doing it with the Chrysler product. It works with the 2000 Dakota, it works with the 2001 Chrysler PT Cruiser. It might work with Jeep products because Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, you know what I mean? I'm not sure exactly. But it definitely works on the Dakota and the PT Cruiser. So if you have a Dodge Chrysler um, in the 2000s, you should be able to use your key, turn it on, uh, on three times, or on, off, on, off, on, and uh, it should display your codes. And you can use Google or the internet to find out exactly what's going on there most of the time